What we're going to look at in this example is how Hortonworks and Alteryx can be leveraged together. In this case, we're looking at retail information, looking at individual customers and trying to find out who is the best target for a mailing campaign from their existing customer list. The way we're doing this is by taking transactional level data from Hortonworks and pushing in database analytics to Alteryx, combining it with the disparate data sets that Alteryx can easily access, running spatial analytics through into predictive to actually build a model to show who is the best target. In this case, the Alteryx process has been parameterized and deployed out to the Alteryx analytics gallery. And this is what you can see in front of you at the moment. What it's doing is allowing you to run an application from the cloud that's touching Hortonworks in the back end. And I'll show how this is actually built out very shortly. Now, with this being a mailing campaign, what we want to do is select for individual customers around certain stores. So we're giving a simple checklist to be able to deselect those records. Then we need to look at, well, which individual predictor values do you want to include as part of this process? Taking data from the Experian household file and appending it to those individual customer records currently in your system, and then combining that with things like the distance calculations and the transactional level information, which is going to be incorporated through the in-database analytics of Hortonworks. What we're doing in the final screen is simply specifying how many of those contacts we want to return. So what it's doing now is actually pulling those disparate data sets together, running that spatial analytics, running the in-database analytics, combining it with predictive and creating an output. What we'll see is three different outputs. In this case, the first one is a summary of what we've built out, showing what's the actual incremental response rate the second one is looking at the individual model values. The third one is the actual individual customer output. So we can see from our model summary, if we were to use this model, how it can greatly increase the cumulative response rate compared to a standard flow of customers. If we look down at the breakdown of individual customers in that base, how decile one is going to be our best prospects, people that most resemble the customers who have previously responded to those mailing campaigns. From the top, we can choose our decision tree detail, which is going to go into details of actually what the model was that was built on the back end and show you a breakdown of how it breaks down based on customer segments and individual distance to those locations. And the final output is basically our contacts. So these are the people we need to be reaching out to. Now, this whole process basically was ran through the Alteryx gallery, connecting out to the Hortonwork sandbox environment using ODBC. But I can actually show you how that was built out through the desktop design environment of Alteryx. What you can see in front of you at the moment is basically the Alteryx designer. This is where we build out a workflow process to be able to incorporate those disparate data sources and push dynamic SQL and HQL statements into something like Hortonworks. Everything is built out through tools. So we have drag and drop tools across the top, property and configuration down the left hand side. And this is basically the scripting screen in the bottom right-hand corner. Now, it's all based on visual programming. In this case, we're pulling information from our store input for those 10 stores we saw online, incorporating customer data, in this case, that's been pulled in from a CSV file. And at the bottom, what we've done is dynamically created a SQL statement that's going to be updated based on the individual store selection and calling out to Hortonworks using a Hive ODBC connector. As part of the functionality in Alterx, you can spatially enable the data to actually be able to create things like distance calculations to say how far are those customers using the embedded data sets. And then the predictive tools don't require a huge scripting knowledge to be able to incorporate them. You can simply do it by dropping in your decision tree tool from the predictive category, defining your appropriate variables, and that again is dynamically updated to be able to create this final report and workflow process. So what you'll be able to do is out from the gallery, download a copy of this module, open it up, and test it against your Hortonworks environment. We're providing all the data sets to be able to actually go through, build it out, and see how it will work for you. Thank you.